Hi guys and welcome back to Creativeverse and we are currently in episode 22. Uh, last time I know I was, I had said that I was going to start gathering uh, materials for the floating island and I did and I was very surprised by myself that I was able to get the majority of them. There are a few things which I will show you a little bit that is a little difficult, more difficult to get that is required which I may be changing um, the materials. Uh, but anyways, you'll never guess what I have found last week. Al, just actually a few a few days ago, um, as I was traversing the jungle, <laughs> I call it traversing the jungle, um, I found my treehouse. That's right, I have located it. I have put up a teleporter to its treaty treehouse. I was so I could believe it. I was like, as I'm walking up to it, running, whatever. Is that my treehouse? No, that's not my treehouse. That's too tall to be my treehouse. No, that's not tall enough to be my treehouse. Is that my treehouse? No, that's my treehouse! <laughs> Sorry, but I was just so, so excited. <clears throat> and I just lost my voice now. But I was so, so excited to find my treehouse. You don't even, even know. I honestly thought that I would not be finding it ever again. Like I, completely gave up all hope of finding it and yeah what about my business and was even going to consider down the road putting a treehouse somewhere else because I really liked it and um you know I was really upset that I had gotten lost from it but if you want to see that video I think it's video seven or eight uh episode seven or eight but anyway <laughs> um yes so let me take you there now so you get to see. I did finish it. There was a couple of things uh, that I needed that I got and I finished it. I am missing a window and it's the, uh, I can't remember now, but it's like the iron barred wood window or something. But anyways, it's basically a drop, a rare drop from a, mon a monster or it's a rare drop that you find in a treasure chest um and so i just left it i may actually put in something else um just in the time being but yes this is it i came was coming from over that way up to this way and you can imagine my surprise yes i was so excited so this goes up it's pretty cool and this up here oh stuck and this area coming down here and so you have a nice view of the ocean out there <laughs> and i really really like it i think it's really really cool uh nope it is completed i can't believe i can't even believe i found it guys i'm just like oh <laughs> so happy and I am stuck. I've been having issues. I think it's my computer. Um, I had to go out and buy more <laughs> more memory. Uh, I play quite a bit of video games, and so I have all, quite a bit on my computer. Actually, been lately playing a lot on Steam, which is this is what this game is on is Steam. And yeah, so I had to go buy more memory. But since I installed it, it seemed to have problems, issues with like more lag happening. You wouldn't think that it has anything tied maybe it's a coincidence or what but I seem to get stuck and it gets frustrating and at first I thought it was my keyboard batteries dying but I put new batteries in it it's not that and that's the only thing that's new is that so anyway um, in regards I'm stuck again <laughs> in regards to the uh, floating island guess what is out there yep I started it now what you see, the uh, stone with the ladders going up over this way, that is not part of it. That is like my kind of like a scalfading, scalf, I can't say that word right now, scalfading. But anyway, for me to get up there and build the parts up here. I actually had to start with these iron, it's um, the brown pieces whatever it is iron walls that's what I started with as you can see down at the base and a little bit closer you see what I'm talking about um, and it was really weird 
that you start building up and as the higher you get up, it drops blocks lower down. So I had to basically build something to get to these lower bricks because I was already up high. It was really, really strange. I have, that's the first, this is the first blueprint that I have actually encountered where the higher up you go, the more bricks go down, <laughs> at least this lower part anyway. I hope that it doesn't do that as you go up higher, but uh, you know. So um, in regards to this floating island, I, you know, I think it would be a lot of fun if anybody was interested that wanted to come and help me build this. I don't know exactly how that is going to work because I know a few of you that are in different time zones than me. I'm in the United States and I know some are in other places of, the, of this world <laughs> um, and the time zones could be a little bit tricky. Um, if you are interested in building with me, um, I have a lot more, a lot, lot more to do. This is like, it looks like I've done a lot, but it, I, I have a lot more, trust me, I'm sure I do. <laughs> but um, I am on Steam. I believe there is a link in my, if you go to my YouTube, if you're um, watching this, you're on my YouTube page, but there should be a link to Steam. You can click on that and it'll take you to my profile. Uh, Gen 2010 and I think you can request if you have Steam and you have this game obviously if you have this game you have Steam um, you can request to be my friend on Steam and then from there I can in let you in to here if I'm online and I'm online pretty much from 7 a.m. this is United States time Eastern Standard Time from 7 a.m till uh like 4 p.m um it was longer in the evenings but starting today i will not be available in the eve evenings because i have something else that i'm doing monday through friday in the evenings so i won't be able to play but all day eastern standard time i can i will be available and on the weekends i can um all day and all evening also play and i'm thinking maybe i might the best route might be um like saturday this coming saturday have a stream in the evening um my evening eastern standard time again uh i feel like i'm rambling but <laughs> i don't know how else to, to explain this but um, maybe I have a live stream or just I will be available and whoever wants to come in I'll let in and give you builder access so you can help me build this massive thing okay so with that if you have any questions about it just comment down below or message me on here or on Steam whatever um, yeah this lag is real I apologize if this video, oh my, okay, seriously guys, it took me like two minutes just to get down from the top of that tree house down to here. How freaking ridiculous is that? I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's my internet connection. I don't know, because it was fine. <sighs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> This is what I, yeah, this is added. This I'll have to take down. Um, yeah, and I actually have missed a couple blocks, you can see. I'm not sure exactly how I will get to those. Obviously, I'll have to build up from down here. I put it over this water just because I thought it would be cool because it does, it's supposed to have water coming down. So I, um, yeah, put it there. Okay, guys. Oh, I had to basically go and restart my computer this is frustrating but it seems to have helped um, across my fingers I yeah it seems to be a bit better uh, moving around and everything so okay um, I left my letters up there you can see I now have I've gotten far enough in this thing I do have a teleporter so I do not have to uh, use ladders to get up there anymore yeah this is the one that is the teleporter right here to take you up there um, <laughs> but I want to explain that the materials I found out um, first of all the bog water I have yet to encounter it is in swampland according to the forums on creativers um, I have 
if any of you have come across Swampland. Um, I think it's probably near the jungle. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> uh, maybe you can help me out with that. But uh, the other thing was the blue adobe floor and the red adobe floor um, and the blue adobe roof are all uh, found on mobs in the caves down below um, or in tre treasure chests chest in the caves um, so they're like really rare so I think those three things I'm going to be replacing with what? I don't really know. I haven't even crossed them yet. I haven't seen them up there yet used. Probably won't for a little bit, maybe. Who knows? Um, but, I mean, I could put, I was thinking, like, for the roof, it could be obsidian um, or diamond. Uh, and the blue adobe floor and this red adobe floor I could use. I've got concrete. I don't know how pretty that would look though. I don't know. Oh, and the uh, this natural stone path actually was just a stone path and that also is a really rare drop recipe from mobs or found in treasure chests. Uh, so I just changed it for now to the natural stone path. Um, I could very well, if I come across that recipe, then I will change it back. But um, I wanted to get this uh, this blueprint started um, I, I get anxious <laughs> and excited so I just you know what I'm gonna replace those things and, with other things I do have and down the road I can you know put them back so that's that um, uh, so I put all of the things that I need um, besides my inventory are in these chests so I have um, almost all of the things that I need. The only thing that I would be lacking, which uh, right here is the, I don't have enough diamond glass. Um, I do have some diamonds. I did find a bunch more diamonds actually and made these this, but I, I was thinking maybe I might change that. I don't know. I really like the look of that, but I could very well change it to the, um, blue stained glass. It's very close in, I don't know if I can pull them down so you can't, you can't really see that. It's very close to this, only that this is more turquoise-ish, I guess. This, this is more purple, which I really like the look of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it was in, I used it in my gazebo. So, yeah. I don't know. For now, I'm going to move on. I have a lot of this detrius, detrius, detrius? And stone to put down so here we go and we are up here uh, you can see a nice lovely view of my tree house um, I have created the steps uh, got it it's very you know sparse in areas I feel like I how am I gonna get that lantern over there I'll figure it out I'll figure something out <laughs> um, I might just have to build a towering pile of stone all the way up there like I did to get up in the center um, to connect these two. These, it, and it was really weird because, um, I gotta watch where I'm going here. This was actually split into two. I had done that far section over there and then it had me do this up here. This is why this is taller. Cause I kept going, not paying attention. And then I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't even, are these two separate islands or is this one gonna be connected? And I was waiting for it to connect just like that one over there is not connected either. Oh, it is now. I had just connected it, but it wasn't. And um, lo and behold, it didn't. So I, um, it had put down, I think it was over here. I had put down some, you know, stone and it opened up a bunch more blocks. So from below, so I just built a towering pile of stone up to here and started out and it worked because it connected all of what was not connected which was a crap ton <laughs> which was a lot so yes and here oh I do see this is the blue Adobe so I'm gonna need that a lot sooner I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to put down a lot sooner than I thought um, with that 
and I like to check and make sure there's nothing below that needs to be put down. And I can put these blocks down. Oh, it does open up. You know what? Maybe I'll leave this section. I'm going to leave this section because I think that's going to start the corner of the actual building that's up here. Uh, and I have to figure out what I'm going to put down there and that. So, um, yes, leave it alone, Jed. Go. Move. <laughs> We'll come back to this is what I was working on is this giant center um, and then I ran out of stone you know because I only had laid 4,000 pieces of stone down <laughs> so and it was like a total of 7,000 stones so I think I must be getting fairly close um, oh there comes the lurchiness back in my game And at some point, I probably, I'm going to have to go back down in the uh, caves down below. And I don't know why you're saying caves down. That just sounds weird to me. I don't know. What do you call it? Underworld? No. I mean, <laughs> ooh, there's a giant hole. That is going to be the problem. If I don't fill that, I'm going to fall right through it. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know what you, it's caves, right? <laughs> caves, yes. It just sounds weird to me, I don't know. Uh, for the longest time I kept calling it dungeons, that was even weirder. Because it's not a dungeon, a dungeon, right? But I don't know. I keep getting these confused, the stone block wall with the uh, actual stone. Um, and they look very similar. And when you get kind of <laughs> going and you're just putting stuff down, yeah, it's, it can be a little tricky to tell the difference I guess. It also gets really tricky um, when I get to pay places like because I did build this part um, first so it gets tricky because I got to go under there like when <laughs> so it's like some places you can't quite reach like if this was all like I, I had actually took some of this out so I could get to under it because I actually think this is where it was but anyway um, I can't you have to be, it's like it's difficult to get under there um, to place the stones down. So like I come over here to do that, but like I went there. There's one in the way back. It's like, is there any behind that? It's, and that's how I miss, that's how I get into where I'm missing blocks placed down. And don't fall off. Oh, I fall. I fell off of here and died already. <laughs> Just once. I'm surprised. It's not more. See, like up in there. How the heck? I guess I have to, that's why I have to create this, but then I can't, I'm going to have to take that down and that just to get up to place this piece of grass. And I believe that's the only thing, right? Yeah. Let's see. I think I'm going to leave that down. I think I'm going to leave all of this down and uh, pick up where I left off. That isn't what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And I'm going to make sure that there's nothing under there before I put this down. And this and this. There. Now we're getting somewhere. And there we are. Um, I take one more survey just to make sure that I'm caught up on this one level. And I can go on to the next. I think I have some of this stuff. Yeah. Um, we'll put this down and place that wood. Yep. So there. Yay. Um, obviously, I have a lot more to go. But. <laughs> Um, yes, it's coming along, but there's so much more to go, oh my gosh. I don't know how tall this is going to go. I can imagine pretty far, seeing as there's the blue lines and it looks pretty far, and I have found that blueprints go to, oh, almost about to it, almost up there. Uh, yes, so we'll see, I don't know, it's got to be as tall as that, I would think taller as my treehouse, which you can see a lovely view of it. 
Isn't it pretty? Isn't it cute? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I found it. How could I not see it in this wide open place? Oh, that's because that's another thing. This is, I was on a different island. My house and my castle tower is all on a different island. There is, I have come across four different kind of island types <clears throat> so far in this world. And yes, so one of these four that I've come across, I'm going to have to see if they've got a swamp area at some point soon. <laughs> Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I am trying to keep my videos down lower so they're not as long. They've been running around 25 to 30 minutes or more in all of my series. And I originally only wanted like 10 minute, 15 minute videos at max. Um, but it got kind of away from that. So I'm really trying to cut down on my time and it also helps for when I'm uploading videos they're a heck of a lot quicker when they're only you know 10 or 15 minutes long so you probably say oh yeah we could have told you that <laughs> anybody knows that well I know uh, yeah but anyway so um, I feel like I didn't you know play that long but I did a lot more talking because I had to catch you guys up to speed on what was going on and what's gonna happen so yes I will say once again, if you are interested in helping me build this massive floating island, um, find me on Steam. You can find me by the, clicking on the little icon on my page up there. It'll have Twitter and, and uh, Steam. Click on Steam, it'll take you to my profile. And there, from there, I think you can, um, you know, provided you have a Steam account, which if you're playing this, you probably do. So, uh, you find me from there, Jen2010, request to be my friend, and then I can let you guys in. And then um, maybe on Saturday, I will um, do a live stream. I don't know. It depends if I get, you know, it'll be in the evening and if my time. So if there's enough of you who want to play, you know, and I don't know what enough is, maybe a couple people, <laughs> um, I could do a live stream. So we'll see. Uh, I will keep you posted and updated on that. So I thank you guys for watching. And oh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you like, and I thank you for watching. Bye.